torture so that uh, they could claim that they were keeping the detainees safe and in that way protect the interrogators. The whole idea here is a, is a program of protection for the people doing the abusive interrogations. It has nothing to do with the protection of the detainees. And Larry James was the chief biscuit starting in January 2003. And when you read the standard operating procedures for mental health, for uh, how to with the behavioral protocols for detainees during the time that Larry James was the, was the chief psychologist, you find uh, institutionalized uh, abuse and torture. I I isolation for 30 days at a time with absolutely no contact, uh, prohibition of the International Committee of the Red Cross to see these detainees, uh, no access even to religious articles, to the Koran, um, unless they uh, cooperate with interrogations, and uh, not to mention frequent interrogations. Now, James is now the dean of Wright State School of uh, Professional Psych Psychology. Oh, where is uh, Lesso? Do you know? Well, it's not, <clears throat> it's not known where, where Major Lesso is. He was out of the country uh, uh, for a few years, as far as I know, as an attaché in, a, in an embassy, I think, in Europe. Um, but he hasn't appeared in he, he hasn't appeared in the United States to uh, speak, for example, before the Senate Armed Services Committee. He hasn't appeared to take to respond to these charges. Um, so I can't answer that question. I don't know where he is. And finally, the APA stance right now, the American Psychological Association stance. Well, I I, for, I want to thank you for the coverage you've given to the American Psychological Associations. Uh, in action on this issue. The APA c continues to claim, just as the Bush administration did, that it is against torture, that psychologists have this role to play for the protection of the detainees, much like Larry James has said. Um, but in fact, the APA continues to refuse to implement even its own uh, policies uh, to prohibit psychologists from being present at these sites that violate international law. The APA has a policy on the books that psychologists can, cannot be uh, at, at places that violate international law. And we know that Guantanamo is still in violation of international law. We know that Bagram is in violation of international law. This is plain. Nobody's denying that they violate the Geneva Conventions. And the APA refuses to implement its own policies because uh, I believe because of their long history of uh, working closely with the military and the influence of military psychology and, uh, and the APA. Not that there shouldn't be uh, collaboration, but there should be ethical standards that the APA upholds uh, universally. Well, I want to thank you very much for being with us, Dr. Stephen Reisner, New York psychologist, senior faculty and supervisor at the International Trauma Studies Program, teaches at both NYU and Columbia. This